I was born in Atlanta, Georgia, and I didn't actually live there for very long. So most of my life I grew up in Plantation, Florida. But when I was younger, I moved around a lot because of my dad's job. I settled in Florida in what, kindergarten and first grade and stayed there for most of my life. Actually, in fourth grade, I moved to Jamaica. So I've always liked soccer, but when I moved to Jamaica, it's the first time I actually really like got into it and I really loved it. So then when I moved back home to Florida in fifth grade, I just stuck with the sport and I just always played then. Well, definitely going to a Caribbean country. I mean, my dad is Jamaican so and my mom is British. So going to a Caribbean country, like that's all they all grew up around is playing soccer and they also play cricket in Jamaica, but it's most, it's just about soccer, soccer, soccer. And I realized that being around something and I really liked it. Like I thought I could, it was something that I really enjoyed watching. So then when I tried it in Jamaica, there was like this little something I saw. So I was just like, I stuck with it and I really liked it. And being around a culture that's like all about soccer helped me start to like really develop a passion for it. When I moved back from Jamaica, so middle school, I started at center back and right back, or left back actually. And then I slowly creeped my way up to the front of the field. So I went to defensive midfield, like winger, then striker, attacking midfield, and then back to wing. But I had the short cameo I had at winger wasn't like, like I actually really solidified myself as a winger around 17. And then I was just from there went up. And then as I got older, then when I was in middle school, I wanted to try to play in college and I just kept training hard. and. You know, and then eventually, halfway through high school, I was like, maybe I can really make sort of like a career out of it. And then I made the goal that I wanted to play professional. So I was like training really hard. I realized like I just really like loved being around and I was training just because of the, like the love for the game, not necessarily to obviously to get better, but I just trained a lot because I just liked to touch the soccer ball. But I went to ODP, was it my freshman year? And that year I made like the regional team and they had like a bunch of national team players on it. And I realized that's when I really can be good enough to play and I can I should strive to do more with soccer and from that day on then I realized that I should just be working hard to like try to develop my game to make it to the next level play at the highest level in college and play at the highest level in the pros and that single summer so that really like helped me realize that I could do it so from that ODP year then I started training with our club's men's team so I played for my local club Plantation FC and my coach uh, our director of the club took me into the men's team, so I started at like 14 or 15. I started playing with some like older guys, and these were men. I played in a men's league, and then I stayed with my local club until I was about 16 or 17, and then I went into the academy system. So I played for Kendall Academy, and then my last year at Kendall, I, that's where I really like really showed what I can do. So I think I scored 20 goals in like 22 games. The last year I was in my academy team. I mean, I had committed to the University of Akron, and I mean. I was playing really well in my academy and then I got called into the national team in that summer and it was just like I spoke to my, the coaches there and they really said like just keep pushing hard like you have some type of ability and I really started really believed in myself that if I go to college and I do very well then I'll be able to get maybe drafted or something will come out of it and I just went into college and I had like a focus I didn't want to go in there to party or you know I just had one goal is to do my schoolwork and make sure I'm doing well in soccer. I was training hard, used the facilities to the fullest, and then I was able to come out of school and do what I love now as a job, and then I was able to end up at this wonderful club. <laughs> we kind of had a good idea where I could possibly go just based on like the conversations, and then the day before the draft, I met with them like really late, and I just got a very good like a, a vibe from them that they might actually really, really be interested in me, and then obviously on draft day, you know, I personally thought I was gonna end up one of the other clubs that was really showing interest in me. And they've talked to my agents and stuff. And then I came around the third pick and I realized there was a lot of scrambling around the room. And it's just like, when I saw New York City traded, when I heard that, I like kind of knew that I think I would be the one going there, you know, because I've done my research on a few of the teams and I just felt, I think this was the only team that I think needed actually a winger. And I literally like, once they said my name in New York City, I was like so happy because I mean, what other club would I want to be in in the MLS? A club that plays young players, plays good soccer, has legends and has a great coach. So I was really happy like to go to New York City than any other club. My mom, my dad, they've all met him before when he was Mr. Vier for Arsenal. <laughs> so when we were, when I was younger, I guess my uncle, he knows his wife. So when he was playing in England, actually at Arsenal and Man City, they, he knew his wife from England. I think they went to school together. So, and then that's how he met Patrick, and then our family just knew him. I mean, it's just, it's just funny. I know when I was younger, my uncle would always call and just be like, oh, I've my nephew, take a look at him, he's good, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, at the time, of course, I'm young, and I mean, he has his own agendas, which is understandable. And so it's just funny that now, today, when I'm older, like I ended up, I'm 
at a club where I'm being coached by him and it's an honor to be coached by him and be surrounded by the players that I'm getting to train with now. The first training session, it was kind of light so we just did a lot of like circuit stuff, technical work, but today we played a little bit more and I got to actually play with Andre and David and definitely David he's, and Andrea but David because I'm more of a forward. He was definitely helping me with positioning and like telling me what to do to help me become a better player, you know, and I would definitely say they're inspirations but they're actually leaders on the field, you know, it's not someone I just look up to and it's just like Oh, I look up to him like he's actually helping me and giving me the advice to become like like him or you know as high as I can get. So to definitely help all of the young guys, whether it's me, whether it's Kyrie, Jack, all the young guys to be like them and to strive for the greatness like they had. I feel like there's a very good fan support here. Like first year in the MLS, I realized that they got a lot of fans. Rather like playing at Yankee Stadium, they have a lot of traveling support. And definitely I realized like even getting drafted here, like just the amount of people that are following me now on Instagram and Twitter that are NYC fans and they're very positive, you know? So I feel like a good vibe from the fans, from the club, everyone here, it's a happy feeling, you know? It's not always too serious. Like we know we have to come do our work, but it's a very good feeling, positive, you know, you mess up, keep going and keep going and keep going because everything is positive here. So I like that feeling, that, that vibe that I get here in this club. Whatever I need to do for this team, I mean, I'm willing to do whether it's play 90 minutes or play one minute or don't play at all and to support someone else who's playing. You know, so I mean, you always get like the best out of me. You always see a smile on my face. So I think that's what the fans will see, that I'm always happy no matter the situation, whether we lose, whether we win, I always look at the positives.